Hello, everyone. My name is Yong Kang He. So today's topic uh, it's about uh, how to create a free trial account on Google Cloud. So what's good about uh, Google Cloud is uh, it comes with uh, three hundred USD dollar credits, and uh, it allows to use up to ninety days. Okay, so Google Cloud, previously I recorded quite a few videos about uh, Google Kubernetes engine. So how to build a GKE cluster in four minutes, how to protect the containers on Google Cloud in three minutes, how to automate uh, GKE cluster creation and the protection in about uh, six minutes, just run one command, how to migrate uh, MySQL from Azure Kubernetes service to Google Cloud GK. But there is one question from the from my feedback. You know, people ask me, I'm actually I don't have a Google Cloud account, so how can I try these, you know, automation? So how can I learn how to build a GKE cluster, how to protect the containers? So that's the purpose for this demo. I will show you how to create a trial account on Google Cloud. Apparently you need a web browser and also you need the credit card details. It's mainly for the billing verification. So you will be charged by a small amount, typically between zero dollar and one USD dollar. And this man amount, this small amount will be automatically reversed, uh, typically in a few days time. But the key points is, uh, you need the credit card details, but you won't be charged. Even you will charge by a small amount, it will be, it will be automatically reversed. So no charge unless you choose to upgrade to pay the account. So I heard from someone mentioned, even you use the more than 300 credits, you will not be charged unless you deliver to say, I want to upgrade to the paid account. Okay. So how to do it? Let me jump to the browser. So here, if you go to any one of the browser, you type a cloud.google.com, it will bring you to this page. So from this page, if you want to explore a little bit more details, you can click here, get $300 in free cards and the free usage for 20 plus products. If you click the link, if it, it will give you some more details. Uh, let's say, uh, what are the free products included? So you've got a computer engine, but different, uh, you know, instance type or, you know, machine type. And you got uh, up to five gigabytes uh, monthly st standard storage. So for more details about the uh, 300 in free credits, you can click the link $300 in free credits. It will give you the free program details like uh, eligibility, the coverage, uh, what are the restrictions. So I'm not going to go through all of this, but just to give you some idea, if you want to explore, Additional details, here is a link. I will share, you know, the link anyway. So how to get started? Let's click the link on the top right hand side, get started for free. And the first of all, you need an email address. So if you don't have an email address, so yeah, let, let me, let's say I don't have an email address. I can create an account for myself and I give the name. Uh, my name is Yong Kang He. So my email address, I don't have an email address. I just click create a new email address instead. So once I click create a new email address, uh, instead you will be provided a new name. Let's say Yong Kang 2022. Let's see if it's available. If it's not available, I'm gonna choose our oh, notes. It was taken. Let me say Yong Kang 2022. No, it is uh, taken as well. Let's say yongkang.he2022. Okay, good, it is available now. So I will use this name, yongkang.he2022 at gmail.com. That's my email address. So I need to set a password. Let me make it a complex password.
Just make sure you set the complex of the password. Once you've done the password, you can click next. No, the password is not match. Let me do it again. Okay, hopefully this time it should work. Yeah, choose a strong password. No. Okay, let me give it a try again. This is the Yeah, once you set the, give the, you know, first name, last name, your username for the email address, your password, then click next. Now it should be all good. So you will be provided the, you know, phone number for the verification. That's how I pro provided my phone number for the verification. Press next. Yeah, the verification code will be sent to my phone. Yes, I got the verification code. And let me type the verification code. That's right. After you enter the verification code, click verify. So here we go. Do you want to recover an email address? Yeah, it's optional. I don't want to set it now. So we will use this to keep your account secure. What's your data I use my data here. October and uh, gender and uh, click next. Okay, so I think that that's all I need. Click, uh, yes, I mean, privacy details. Pretty sure you need to agree, otherwise, you want to be able to move on. Okay, account verification. Best describe your organization. When I start up a company, your work email, it's optional. Click uh, I agree. I have read the agreement. Yeah, typically you should open a new tab to read all the details, the terms. Once you're done, click continue. Okay. Confirm your phone number, click continue. Payment details, as I mentioned earlier, yeah, the payment is required. So you need the credit card details for the billing verification purposes. So let me enter my credit card details as well. So, Yeah, once you enter all the details, you need your address details as well for the, you know, verification. I believe that that's part of the verification. Yeah, once you've done all of these, so you can click start my free trial. So I click start my free trial. So right now it's setting up uh, the billing account details. Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess it's almost there. What brought you to Google Cloud? Uh, yeah, I might just choose the, uh, the, the first one, compare Google Cloud to other cloud provider and uh, click next. What are you interested in doing Google Cloud? Yeah, you don't have to make any selections here. So for, for myself, uh, I'm actually, I'm particularly interested in the data management, the, the AI machine learning, and uh, what else? Yeah, uh, storage backup. Click next. What best describe your role? So my role is like a he's more you know solution system architect related. Yeah, click it done. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, I guess you know pretty much uh, all done. Uh, get started with. Uh, if you want to, you know, here's a uh, multiple. Uh, tutorials, you can try computer engine, you can try cloud storage, try cloud SQL, etc. I'm going to skip for now. So that's all I need. Yeah, so I got an email address. 
I got the Google Cloud account. But let me verify. So first of all, let me verify the billing. Yeah, the billing is very important. So without the billing, so you basically you want to be able to uh, continue. So right now, looks like uh, the account is already active. So I got a four hundred and seven dollar, a sing dollar. But that's the Singapore dollar. Uh, that's equivalent to three hundred USD dollar. I got a ninety days. So it will expire June twenty fifth, twenty twenty two. Okay, it looks like I've got everything ready. Yeah, additional information. If you want to know more about how the backup works, how the restore works, how migration works, here is a few, you know, playlist. So that's all I want to cover. Yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope it is useful to you. Feel free to send me an email, drop me some feedbacks, you know, comments, or follow me by any one of the, you know, ways okay thanks